Hi there, YouTubers. Uh, this is Mark, Mark's uh, Adventure Club, and I am working in my camper van again. And I just want to show you, I just ran into a snafu, which is what else is new? There's always going to be these snafus. I wonder where my eyes are tracking. Over here somewhere is where the stupid thing is. Anyway, um, so I'm just about to get my sink onto my countertop and into the van. I wanted to make sure I knew how to mount it first before I put the silicone on there and everything else. And sure enough, I got the sink. It came with these clips that are supposed to go. They go like this. And what it's supposed to do is grab the underside, grab the wood of the countertop here, and grab the sink here. And you tighten it down, either up or down, I'm not sure which way it goes, uh, probably push it up, and it's supposed to grab the sink and pull it tight. And it doesn't, and I'll show you why it doesn't. Here's the bottom of the sink, okay? This is supposed to go, let's see if I can get this lined up right here. Let's tip this this way a bit. A little bit more. Okay. So, underside, picture the countertop over here. The sink sits on top of the countertop. And this comes up here and it's supposed to grab the wood and grab the sink and pull it down tight and hold it in place. However, there's nothing here for it to grab. And when I started looking at it going, how is this supposed to work? I put sinks in before, so I should know, but it's been a while. I see these little spot welds and it comes to mind that there must have been something there once upon a time that grabbed this and pulled it down. And it's not there. And the funny thing is, this was new in box, still in its original packaging when I bought it off of eBay. I think I got it from eBay. You know, private seller selling me something that either came from the factory messed up and they flipped it around and sold it to me unaware of the fact that they were that I was buying it. They knew what they were selling, I'm sure. Or they tried to mount this and intentionally either remove those <laughs> or whatever. The clips had never been opened. I opened the package of the clips, so it's not like they tried to mount it, but I'm guessing it came from the factory this way. Either that or it got put together, certain parts from one box, certain parts from the other box. Anyway, so now I'm stuck with how the heck am I gonna mount this? I've gone through so much with all the various parts, the little drain with the hose going to my gray well. I've got the faucet on there with the shower head and the diverter so I can go either faucet or shower either way and ready to go on to let me turn this around it's ready to go on to my countertop right here which took me a while to get that done but anyway looks pretty good I think it came out all right I wanted a little bit of a rustic look um, so what am I going to do? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take six stainless steel screws and I'm going to drill through the top of the sink and just screw it to the wood with plenty of silicone caulking underneath. I'm not worried about it. And, you know, this is not a high-end home or apartment. So I'm not really worried about it. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'll come back later and show you how it turns out. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm not really concerned about uh, notifications. I don't use notifications on my YouTube channels. I just, when I go to YouTube, it's, I click on notifications and it shows me what new content I have from the people I'm following. So you do what you normally do. Don't worry about it. I'll see you later. Bye now.
Okay, we're back. Still working on the sink. Uh, turned out that I had my idea of just drilling and securing the sink to the wood. Wasn't going to work because the size of the opening... Where am I? There we are. The size of the opening didn't give me enough wood to drill through and grab onto. So I ended up incorporating the clips. I had to bend them because they weren't going to fit the way they were. I got some bolts and nuts. This is what we ended up with. So, uh, does it look, you know, pretty like, you know, professional did it? No, but will it work? Yes. That's the top. I'm just going to use four, four screws around the side. I'm going to put a ton of, of caulking underneath it anyway. I haven't done that. Right now, I've just been fitting it to make sure that this is going to work. And then for underneath, let's see, where's the best angle to get underneath here? Uh... All right, I'm going to have to go back to silver to get underneath so you can see what I did. Uh, where are we? Okay, come on. There it is. There's the clip. It's attached to the wood. Uh, you can, I don't know, it's hard to see because I bent the clip out, ran the bolt through the thread hole, the which would have uh, held the uh, screw that came with it on there. And then just put a lock a lock nut underneath it, tighten it up, and that did it. That brought it down tight. That's going to hold it, so it's not going anywhere. And uh, yeah, so that's <laughs> that's where I am. Uh, one thing after another, after another, after another, and one more trip to the hardware store to get something I didn't have in all of my little bolt. And screw containers, all of that stuff in there, I could not find something that was going to work. So, this is what I got. And that's what it's going to look like, and I don't care. <laughs> that's bottom line. This is the thing that's been going on for over a year, because I had to lay off of it for about six months. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to get it caulked, and then into the van, and then hook up the plumbing, and we'll show you what it looks like then. So catch you, catch you back. I'll run, run all these videos together probably, or maybe not. Who knows? Later. Okay, I'm back. I'm a little flushed and a little sweaty, but I got it. Some of the brackets I had put on the underside of the cabinet uh, on the countertop, I had a hard time getting to, especially the last one, but it really needed to be secured. Anyway, let's turn this around and see what it looks like. So, here we are. I've already checked the plumbing connections. Everything's tight, nothing's leaking. I did have one little leak up here. This is not supposed to be a wrapped connection. It's supposed to be, a. it's like a compression, but there's not a washer in there. So I don't know if the washer got lost or if it wasn't there. I'll have to check. I might end up throwing a washer, but for now I wrapped it and it seems to be fine. That's the shower head. Right here, it's one of these on demand, it's got an on off button, three different shower settings. It's going to hang up on the inside of the door on the little clip that comes with it. And it's going to be magnetic so I can take it off the inside of the door, put it on the outside of the van and stand outside and take a shower. And this is the diverter right here that goes back and forth. Again, I'm not going to, I'm not running any water right now because I've already done that in a previous video. Had it all hooked up, ran the water. I did not have the shower on it at that point in time. Um, so that's what it looks like. Got a rubber band sitting here, my glasses, and coming down here, this is what it looks like on the inside. There's my tank, and I'm on a driveway that's on a hill, so uh, I, I actually ran that tank dry, and that's how much water is in there. So that's something to consider that when the company, uh, again, what's the company? Ronco built me this tank and they put their standard fitting package on it. That outflow down at the bottom is probably leaves about, oh, geez, an inch and a half of water in the tank. I think that could have been built better. I don't know. 
I don't know. It seems like it. you'd want it to be drained. All I have to do is turn this around and park it on the hill going the other way, and I'd be able to get more water out of it. But it's something I'll have to consider when I'm in a campground. There's my gas regulator going up to my gas heater. I've shown you all this before, but uh, everything's working fine. Pump switch is on the wall back there. Heater's right here, on-demand water heater. I have it set right there, and it seems like that's going to be perfect for taking a, a nice, reasonably hot shower. Not scalding hot, but uh, certainly hot enough to shower. And if I want it hotter, like I'm washing something greasy, I can just turn up the temperature by uh, turning this up right here. I've got the flame at the max and the I don't, it's weird. One of them controls water flow going through this machine and one of them controls the amount of fire uh, that goes on. And uh, this looks like the one that controls the fire. So this one actually doesn't control the temperature, controls the water flow. As you reduce the water flow, the temperature should go up or whichever. I'm not sure which way it goes. I'll have to experiment with that. But there it is. I got the doors already cut and fitted. I just have to paint them and get them on. Coming around, as you see, I've got my drop cloth here. Got my back there. And then this is the coming around, coming around, coming around. Sorry, you're losing the, the video here. But uh, the outside uh, will have a, a uh, outer panel over here. I've got a quarter inch birch that I'm going to put up here. Um, I like the way my countertop came out. I used a birch edging that irons on. It's pre-glued. Pre All you do is uh, put a hot iron on it and press it down and it gives you the nice finished edge on the plywood. Coming, coming back. Okay, come, we're back. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at and I'm happy that I'm moving along after such a long haul on this thing. It's been over a year. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Got gone on too long anyway when I put these videos together. I might put them together in two spots. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching. See you next time.